Epilepsy is a condition in which a person has recurrent seizures. For those who have had epilepsy, the condition can affect their jobs, their education, and their social life. Yeah, this was the case for a young woman. For nearly 10 years, she had no control over her epilepsy, but surgery changed that. Mary Nichols has more on how they did it. Since I was 15, I've never been, you know, able to get a hold of control of my seizures. For People 10 years, that, Sunny you know, Loomis felt out. alone, isolated and depressed over the one thing she could not control. Well, you know, kids, you know, are so unsure. You know, they just, you know, they're not sure if they want to be around you. So, you know, that messes with your depression. So it kind of, you know, you're really sad all the time. Sunny has epilepsy. It's a condition characterized by seizures that can strike at any time. Sunny is among 50 million people worldwide who have epilepsy. She was not allowed to drive a car and had a hard time finding a job. You know, jobs always turn you away. At first they'll hire you, but then as soon as you have one on the job site, they didn't, you know, they always try to find a reason. For the most part, medication does the job for many, many patients. Dr. Tanya Constantino is a physician at the Intermountain Medical Center Epilepsy Clinic. She says there is no cure for epilepsy. There are treatments like medication, but in Sunny's case, she needed something called a vagus nerve stimulator. A vagal nerve stimulator is kind of like a pacemaker for the brain, except that it's not implanted into the brain. Instead, the device is inserted just under the muscle layers of the chest. A wire is then used to hook the device to a nerve in the neck. That device is discharging to help stabilize the parts of the brain that are irritable and causing the seizure problem. Now, this is not very often a cure for the patient, but it can significantly reduce their seizure activity. Dr. Constantino also says the device can help treat depression. As for Sunny, she can now drive a car, and she says she has control over her epilepsy. It's definitely made a huge difference in my life. In Murray, Mary Nichols, 2 News. Well, the FDA actually approved the device to treat people with severe depression. For more information, you can go to our website, KUTV.com. Check the Check Your Health link. We'll have the information about the device there for you. All right. We have all experienced problems.